Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and today on a bit awkward position but I want to show you this screen, I want to show you my two phones so that we can take a look at the quick tip which is to how to screencast or mirrorcast or chromecast, call it whatever you want uh, from our phone to our TV using an Android TV box and it's really easy as I'm going to show you right now and the first step that we need to do is to have an Android TV box if you have any questions on which Android TV box to get I will leave some links right over here so that we can check a lot of reviews that I've done in the past and also a quick tip guides on things that we need to know and we need to be aware in terms of Android TV boxes. Now that being said, once you have your Android TV box you'll need a piece of software and this software is called AirScreen. Now in the past I've used also AirPin Pro but AirPin Pro is a paid app and at this moment what I'm recommending is a free one which is air screen now we can install that on a android tv box with pure android or we can install in the android tv box with android tv os which is the case that i'm using right over here actually i'm using the minix u9h right over here with android tv os which i like to do some testing and so on and so forth and it will be used for this guide as well now once we have that app installed that is it there are a few settings we can change the name to a friendlier name etc etc but in terms of setting it up it's as simple as installing and start the app and every time that we reboot our machine the app will be on the background so we don't need to do anything now once we have that we have several options regarding the phone and on most phones you will not need i would say every phone you will not need any kind of software because they have the screencast or mirrorcast built in and in this particular case i'm using a xiaomi mi 6 and it, it might be a little bit different on your phone but you will have this option i will need to go to settings for example and then uh, more and in this particular case i've got an option here which will say wireless display but you can also find an option saying screencast chromecast mirrorcast all will do exactly the same now what i can do is i can show my old phone on the tv which is what i'm going to do right now once i press the wireless display i've got my options right over here and the one that i want right now is the new u9h and once i press it it will display the screen of my phone on the tv simple as this really really simple so now i can just scroll here and show if i want to show something to someone uh, inside the classroom for example it's really useful or any other thing that we want to show to someone and we don't want to handle the phone because we need it for some reason doesn't matter so this is one of the options and in here of course I can start any app and show it on the screen now one more option that I would like to show you which is very useful as well is uh, I will disconnect right now because I don't want to show the whole screen so disconnect and it will disconnect from there usually what appears right now uh, is ads and this is the main difference between the air screen app uh, which is not paid which is the one that we are using or the paid version which will remove the ads but it will appear from time to time so i don't think it's that uh, bad let's see if it appears so that i can show you now as i was saying the other option is let's say that i want to show any video to someone but I, once again i don't want to give the phone to them and i want to keep doing more things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to one video that i've got open right over here in this particular case on youtube i'm going to press play and once the video is playing what i need to do is to press the video and see this signal which is the screencast where it says cast 2 and i'm going to select the device which in this particular case is the U9H right over here and it will start uh, screencasting the video that I've chosen. This is very useful if I want to show a movie uh, to my kids or a movie or some cartoons and so on and so forth and if I want to keep on browsing my emails and doing some work or doing anything else and I don't want to give the phone to them in this particular case then they can keep on watching their cartoons and I'm doing whatever I want to do on my phone answering calls and so on and so forth so this is very useful as well if we want to have more privacy on what we are doing uh, but at the same time showing a video right over there now if I want to quit all I need to do is to select the video once again and press the same button and just stop casting and it will stop the casting and you will return to your TV or whatever you are doing right over there and I can just move out once again no ads it's not that usual now one more thing that I would like to show is that that was on an Android phone as I said the Mi 6 but I also have an iPhone here which is my everyday phone the iPhone SE and if I want to I can also do exactly the same I can mirror the screen 
or I can, and let me just choose a video, as I did on the uh, Android, I can choose a video and start playing it, and then just select the screencast. In this particular case, I will select the new U9H once again, and there it goes, it will start streaming on the TV, um, like we did with the Android phone. So there's no difference. Uh, the name might be different. This is called AirPlay. The, one, the other one is called Screencast, but the effect is exactly the same. Now I can just move to uh, something else. And if I want to stop it, just press right over here and disconnect and it will disconnect from the TV. And hopefully, at the, yes, there we go. Here's one kind of ad. I was hoping that you guys could see it so that I could show what I do. Usually is just press the remote and press the home button and it will disappear as it did right now. So this is the only downside of using the free app. And guys, this is it. The tip for today is this one. If you want to screencast for a TV, the cheapest way, the best way, because on an Android TV box, we can do a lot of stuff, including this one. So hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.